Now it's time to get back into traveling. So do you really need a passport wallet? Or in this case, what Bellroy calls their travel folio and travel wallet? Well, we'll take a look at these two first and then I'll answer that question. She is an expert on international vampire travel. It's true, I book all the trips for the Vampire Council. Oh. Really the only fun part of my job. Yes. Wow, these are big. Let's get a better look at these. We have the Belroy Travel Folio and the Travel Wallet. So let's do the folio first. Typical Belroy packaging. It has a little tag here in the bottom. It's supposed to be coming out right here. Let's zoom in a little bit more now that we've got just a single wallet to look at. So that, unfortunately this is coming off, but this is the Travel Folio. This is the Caramel color. Also comes in oh, Obsidian, which is really black, black and ocean. As we can see here, it uh, is a zipper opening. It's a folio. That's why it has a zipper to it. And we can see it has a few pieces of propaganda in here. There's example passport. And it comes with an extra refill for this pen right here. Let's see if we can get this out effectively. Hmm, let's see here. I'm supposed to try and uh, get it out this way. There we go. All right. Let's look at this pen really quick. I kind of like this. There we go. It is a twist. Quite a bit of a twist to get there, but it is a micro pen. And I'm telling you, pens are required as part of any kind of passport wallet that you get. So we'll set that aside right there. Move this out of the way, and let's see what else we have. Bellray is always very good to give you some instructions on how your wallets work. And move it on. Set this aside. Here we go. Okay, again, nice zipper, which we'll talk about. They use different zippers. They actually use a higher grade zipper than YKK on some of their products. And if we come in, we can see how it's laid out. We'll get into the feature review of this, but you can see it's fairly large. This isn't meant to go into your, your back pocket for sure. Various different pockets in here, and it feels really good. And of course, uh, we're always dealing with uh, normal type sewing with Bellroy, which is just on the edge of not acceptable, but they tend to make it okay. The reinforcements that we get in certain areas that will have a lot of wear and tear. Okay, set this aside. On to travel wallet. Looks like we have, it comes with a pen as well. We like that, so we'll get this out. Gee, it shouldn't be this hard. There we go. Set that pen right there, and here we have the wallet. Like I mentioned, this also is caramel. I do this so you guys can see uh, wallets better than getting darker colors. And this acts more like a wallet. All right, this is uh, more like a bifold. And actually, I'll say it right now, this has a lot of characteristics of the hide and seek. And the hide and seek is something that uh, a lot of people like for various different features, which we'll get into right now. You can see they also have some advertising in here, uh, but it also provides a refill for the pen, which we like. I'm sure based on the amount of time you're gonna use this, that the refill will last you for a decade. So. Uh, you can tell one is vertical, one is horizontal. But seriously, do you need something separate for your passport? Well, let's see. Travel folio, we have this zip closure. That is a feature in my mind. I really like this for capturing everything and making sure you have security. Come to the interior, we have two passport slots. We have one right here, and there's one right behind it. We'll talk about that. I think you can put three in here if you really wanted to push it, and I'll show you all three of those spots. We've got four card slots, one, two, three, and then right behind it here, we have a fourth slot right here. That's where you can put more stacks of cards. These are quick access right here. And then as we moved around to the back, we do have a SIM slot. A SIM slot as well as a holder for the pin uh, push to be able to put in there. And then right here, I kind of call this the universal uh, pocket or pouch right here. Useful for cash, travel documents, passes, etc. Uh, another miscellaneous pouch, except this one they say is for cash. This one is cash that uh, is set in there vertically. And then finally, right here we have the pen slot. The pen slot can fit the micro pen or a full size pen. You can see the size of that slot. It'd be very, very capable of having a full size pen if the micro is something that you don't particularly like. Now into the travel wallet. Well, the travel wallet, again, being a large bifold, we open it up, we can see that we've got this passport slot that's right here on the side. This is where your passports go. And then we have seven card slots. We have one, two, three, four, so two in front of the two stacked. We come to the interior, we have two on this side and one more over here. These three in the back are really considered hidden slots. 
And while we're back here, we can notice that we have yet a SIM card here as well as space for the push pin tool. And like the hide and seek, we have the two large pockets. These are billfold pockets or miscellaneous. You can have different kinds of cash in here. And, you know, we have this here that can actually fold over that divider and thus keep it separate and keep it com contained. Different cash, receipts, whatever it might be. And then right here, you can see this notch. This is where the micro pin goes, goes. And this is where you can see that it has the slot that it goes down into. This is only gonna work with the micro pin. This is not gonna work with any other larger pin, mainly because it's in the fold of the wallet itself. Bellroy offers a three year warranty against defects or workmanship when under normal use. So, you know, at least you know you have some bit of coverage there. Now I'll make a plug that every passport folio, wallet, travel sleeve, whatever you wanna call, should come with a pen or a pen slot. It's super stupid that with all the technology we have in the world, that at least industrialized nations can't get to get this stuff into your phone yet. Well, let's see how useful these two wallets are. Eighty thousand subscribers, two lucky people, five wallets of their choice from all that I have. Will you feed that thing? Remember, subscribe. Eighty thousand, we get there. It's done. It always rubs me the wrong way as Bellroy never prints in their packaging where their products are made. They always print them in, in some obscure place in the product itself. And if we're looking here, I think it's going to be right back behind this card, and that's where you can see it, made in India. Not sure whether they're not proud of that or whatever the situation may be. They're both designed in Australia and they're made in India. This one we know for sure. I know this one as well. Bellroy has moved some of its production to the Philippines. Now the zipper on the folio is very high quality. It's actually higher quality than YKK as I expressed. And I found this out uh, talking to a designer at Bellroy. And the fact that on some of their products they choose a higher quality, meaning that it uh, has met all their criteria in their design, in their testing. It uh, zips a lot smoother. This one zips very smooth. And uh, you know, they still use YKK and they still love that. Now the travel wallet construction is rolled and has butted sewing together. So we have rolled leather over here and we have butt joints down here where we have the sewing that takes place. As mentioned, the sewing is okay. It uh, does take care of stress points uh, where you would expect most of the wear and tear. But honestly, with these wallets, because they're travel wallets, I don't think they're gonna get a tremendous amount of use that you would find any durability problems with these. Bellroy leathers are premium and I keep looking for full grain veg tanned or any other rating of the leather and I can't find it anywhere. Uh, Bellroy seems to be a wee bit more concerned about the process of making the leather, the fact they use leather working group, gold rated tanners, etc., than the final quality of leather, which seems to be a lot of hand waving to me. Now the price for each of these, the travel folio is $159 and the travel wallet $139. I may have mentioned that my personal preference is this folio. The folio, due to it being able to zip up for security, and I kind of like this folio, this vertical more so than horizontal. And Bellroy mentions that the wallet can't hold Irish or German passports. I can't find where that's expressed anywhere except for the possibility of a 64 page version of the book, which makes it thicker but not necessarily dimensionally larger, which honestly is an international ISO standard. I still find this uh, folio easy easier to use, but if you're into bifolds, which a lot of people are because you're comfortable with this, because you carry a bifold wallet, then this would be good for you as well. Now remember, you're not going to carry this or keep this in your back pocket. You'll have this in some sort of sling pouch, backpack, backpack coat pocket, so the size needs to only be reasonable. It doesn't have to be something you put in your front pocket or your rear pocket. And as I mentioned, every passport wallet should provide a pen. Seriously, that is the biggest issue. And uh, if you don't have one, then I suggest you get one to include with it because that is what you use on every flight. So should you use a passport wallet or travel wallet? 
That's the question that I posed in the beginning. Well, as with most things, it depends, but here's my gauge. If you're concerned about protecting your passport from wear and tear, get a simple sleeve that hopefully can accommodate a small pen. If you tend to want to organize your travel all into one place, then determine how much you want to pull together and size your travel wallet accordingly. Travel companies, and especially wallet companies, romanticize putting everything into a single wallet, but I would really caution against that due to theft, the, really the potential of theft. It really depends on where you go, too. You should be sorting out your critical items like passports or copies of your passports from credit cards, from cash, from other IDs, etc., into separate physical places. Keeping them all in one place is a risk that I just don't frankly take. So now on to the final score. For the travel folio, a quality of four, price of two, really expensive in my mind, features of four, good features, usability of four, love it, perception of four, that gives us a final score of 36 out of 50, with a travel wallet quality of four, price of two, still expensive on, on this end, features of four, has quite a few things, really you can match this up with a hide and seek, usability of three, uh, it's just not as easy to use in my mind, it's just a one big honking wallet, and perception of four, and that gives it a final score of 34 out of 50. And if you like this review, then watch this video next. We'll see you in the next review, bye.